the year 1923 in St. Petersburg, Florida. A town of about 15,000 people. A small but dedicated group of 12 Jewish families met for services in Charlie Davis's store on Central Avenue. Here they chartered a place of worship for the Jewish people of the sleepy community, which was about to wake up. Congregation B'nai Israel was born. Their first home was a rented store on 13th Street and 2nd Avenue North. Their first president was a most respected member of this small Jewish community, Hyman Jacobs. In 1926, the small congregation moved to a larger building, a former church on 9th Street and 9th Avenue North, which later turned into a radiator shop and restaurant as depicted here. With the move to the larger building, they engaged their first rabbi, and the ladies of the auxiliary were most chic. With the rapidly growing synagogue family, the religious school, the cheder, and the Sunday school came into being. This all happened when St. Petersburg experienced a great land and building boom. Between 1923 and 1926, 10 large hotels were built in and near the city to accommodate all the tourists who were flocking to this beautiful spot. The flurry of downtown hotel construction climaxed in December 1925 with the completion of the lavish Vinoy Park Hotel. Tourists came to enjoy the beautiful perfect climate and the pristine beaches. Staying at fine boarding houses or the new hotels. Gaping at celebrities, including the great Babe Ruth whether swatting at the ballpark or carousing at local nightclubs. The New York Yankees, with the help of Babe Ruth and other greats, won the World Series three times in this decade. The 1920s post-war years saw Miss America of 1923 and Prohibition and our flaming youth and the jazz flappers. Mahjong became a national pastime. Lavish movie theaters were built. And the first talking picture with Al Josen as the jazz singer had everyone talking. But in 1929, the bottom fell out of Wall Street and the serious depression followed. Before this, however, there were still bright lights on Broadway, when in 1927, three talented Jewish writers and composers, Jerome Kern, Oscar Hammerstein, and Edna Ferber, teamed up to make Showboat the hit of the season. <laughs> 